Hi guys, Jessica Carter here. Uh, I went to a super cool network meeting today and learned something new about business cards that I wanted to share with you. Uh, if you could, if you're watching this live, if you could put a one, and if you're watching the recording, if you could put a two, that really helps me with the crazy Facebook algorithms and know um, who's getting to see what. So the first one I already knew, um, but I thought I would go ahead and share it because it kind of fits in here. So if you don't know, there's an app called Cam, C-A-M, like camera, Cam Card, and you can take a picture, almost like scanning in business cards into your phone, and then you have the exact picture. You can send it um, right to people. You can search in there, um, and it'll pull up the business card that you're looking for, so it makes them all on your phone and super easy instead of having tons of business cards around. Um, the second one is, I heard this one today and I thought this was super cool. So have you ever told somebody you were going to do something and had the best of intentions and then completely forgot? I do this a lot now because back in my youth, I swear I could remember anything I said and anything everybody else could said and say. And then it, that's kind of hurt me now because I still think that I have that type of memory and I kind of don't anymore. Maybe I just have more going on. I don't know what's going on, but... What she was saying was if you've told somebody you're going to do something like, oh, let me send you um, this Facebook page, it'll be so helpful, or let me introduce you to somebody because she was just talking about this or whatever, you actually take your business card and write whatever, somebody's name or website or whatever, and you hand it to them, but then it's in their court to say, hey, do you, will you um, go ahead and send me the name of that person who said would help me cut down my trees or that business coach because it sounded like she could really help me or whatever. So I thought that was super cool. Okay. The bulk of this meeting. Hey, Kathy, how are you? I think you're so amazing. Like, I feel like we should meet one day. <laughs> um, the third thing, this is the thing that I really learned today that I thought was super, super cool. Um, if you could, before I get started, if you're watching this live, if you could put a one, and if you're watching the recording, if you could put a two, that helps me with Facebook algorithms. So, um, so this is what I learned today. Super cool. So when you're looking at a business card, and I actually picked the business card who taught me this. So this is awesome. Amy Matthews, and she's with eWomen Networking, and she's super awesome and willing to share all her amazing knowledge. When she's talking to somebody and she takes their card, she looks at it like this. So she's looking at the business card. If she wants to get to know more about their business, and, you know, obviously tell a little bit about her business too. Hi, Lisa. She folds down back and forth the corner right here. And then she's like, hey, I'm going to send you an email for a um, virtual coffee. It's going to have my calendar. Just sign up for a 30-minute time. And the first 20 minutes, I really want to hear about this issue that you were telling me about. In the last 10 minutes, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my business. So that's what this corner means. If, I'm not going to fold all the corners because then it'll be all folded, but... If she folds this corner, then that means she wants to introduce them to one of her networking groups. Um, and I do, I visit at least four networking groups and I feel like different people kind of fit different ones. And so, um, hi Kimberly. And so if she wanted to introduce to one of her networking groups, she would fold down this corner. If she wanted to refer to someone else, oh, I have this great business coach, oh, I know somebody who can paint your house or whatever, she folds down, when you're looking at it, she it doesn't really matter because you can pick your corners. She folds down this corner, and then she had something set different for here that didn't really work for me. Hi, Ardith, it's been a long time. Um, so I actually kind of left that one blank because I'm gonna try to think of something that works better for me, which I haven't really come to a, a decision on that. So if you had a fourth corner, what would you want that corner to mean? Like, I really wanna know because I haven't picked out what my fourth corner is. So someone gives you a business card, you wanna learn more about their business and tell them about yours. That's here, networkers do that all the time. It's okay for us to learn about each other's businesses. If you just wanna tell them about an awesome networking group that you think would help them, it's this corner. If you wanna refer them to somebody else, a painter, um, someone with essential oils, uh, you fold down this corner, and then I really would like to know what you would do with that fourth corner. 
Good to see you too. Uh, so I actually love to do personal and professional development. So I'm going to put a link to my blog in the comments. Um, and I think I can make it to where it goes to all the personal and professional development. So I'll actually link it from there instead of to my homepage. Uh, and then if you want to find out about essential oils, uh, the most trusted, most tested, most pure essential oils on the market, I'm also going to put a link to that in the comments. Um, if you watch this live, if you could put a one, please. If you watch the recording, if you could put a two, and then I really want to know what you would do with the fourth corner or if you found any of these business card tips helpful. Thanks. Bye.